In an earlier video, we went through the steps necessary to get the NEC SL desktop connected to the NEC SL1100 and paired with my desk phone. In this video, we'll look at some of the configuration options available to set the application up to your liking. But before we start making changes, I want to show you an excellent user guide that comes with every client. The help file is an excellent resource and I highly recommend that you take a look at it sometime. As a Windows application, you can resize it by mouse clicking the corner and either expand or contract its size. Let's look at the various sections of the NEC SL Desktop Suite. You have a toolbar you can customize with features. You have a call area. You have a busy lamp field that shows extensions that are programmed on your desk set. There is a pop-up toast area that will display missed calls and in the next video that shows the SL desktop in action, I'll show you how it works. If you are an Outlook user, there is also integration between it and the NEC SL desktop and I'll show that in the next video too. To customize the toolbar, you select Tools, Preferences, Tool Buttons. I'm going to remove any button I probably won't use. The call area doesn't require any configuration and I'll be showing you how it works in the next video. The busy lamp field can be modified by selecting tools, preferences, BLF DSS which stands for busy lamp field direct station selection. I'm going to add the names from the telephone system and use larger buttons. See how that changes my view? Now let's look at some of the other tabs and configure options under each. As we go along, I'll be setting up the client to run the way I prefer it set up. I like the application to pop up on incoming calls. I also like to enable email integration and I'll show you that in the next video too. Here we can choose between a supervised transfer or an immediate or blind transfer. A supervised transfer allows you to introduce the caller before you hand it off to the called party. An immediate or blind transfer sends the call without you introducing the caller. Highlight Dial allows you to highlight a phone number whether it be on a web page, an email signature, in a Word document, on a PDF, and dial that number simply by highlighting it. Dialing rules allows you to differentiate between internal calls 
or intercom calls, and special services that use fewer than seven digits, such as 911 or directory assistance of 411. To enable the voicemail features, you check the Enable Voicemail box and add the pilot for the voicemail system. For notifications, I like to display an alert for missed calls. For alert display, I normally choose automatically display the alert and fade. That way there you get a toast pop-up that shows you you missed a call but it'll eventually fade away from your desktop. In the demo in the next video, I'm going to have it set to automatically display the alert and hold so the alert does not go away while I'm talking about it. Click OK and all your settings have been saved. So that's all there is to setting up the NEC SL Desktop Suite. Thank you for watching this video.